Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So I want to do a personal video. Well, this is gonna be me opening up about my weight, my macros. I'm not really gonna tell you what macros I'm doing. My weight gain over the summer, all of those things, my new goals that I have set for myself, and how I'm gonna hit it really hard. First of all, I'd like to talk about the weight gain over the summer. Over the summer, the past two months, I gained 18 pounds. Most of it was in the, um, like, within a month. And when I say this, I was at 178 and now I'm at 18 pounds higher than that, so if that tells you something, like, it's not good. It makes me sad, but at the same time, I know that I can get back to where I am, like, it just gives me more motivation, and I'm not yo-yo dieting. Like, this was definitely a, like, vacation injury and birthday cheats, like, majorly. So this was me not sticking to, I was exercising, but my eating was definitely on not on point, and that's exactly where I went wrong. So that's I know what my weaknesses are and stuff but basically with my weight gain I had my birthday and I cheated for a little over a week and this was my last cheat this morning that I had because now the next nine weeks I'm going to be cracking down on my goals I'm gonna be hitting them like a mother and I'm going to try my best I'm going to put in the effort and see what I'm capable with I know what happened I analyzed everything I want to better myself but at the same time I want to live life and nutrition is really important um, I know that a lot of you guys do know this, but some of you guys don't. I have hypothyroidism, so I have to be extra, you know, cautious about the weight gain and stuff just because of the fact that my thyroid gets affected by all of this stuff, and um, I've really been working on this. And nutrition is something that really does work for me. If I eat well and I'm in a deficit, then I lose weight, but it's really hard to do that when I'm constantly thinking about food and stuff, and this summer I was constantly eating a lot of sugary stuff, you know, going out with friends, I was on vacation, I had my birthday, I did injure my shoulder, I have a torn labrum and stuff. My workouts have not been as intense. Because my workouts weren't as as intense as they were before I really could not afford eating the way that I was eating because my workouts were not putting the food to use if that makes sense I'm real I have things that happen and I'm gonna bounce back from it so that's kind of how that happened the 18 pounds but now we're gonna talk about the goals that I have set for myself I know I can do it I know that I can push my limit I know that I'm capable of so much more than I'm doing right now my goal weight that my lowest weight that I've weighed in so far is 178 my goal is to hit 175 and I don't don't need to hit it in the next nine weeks but my goal is to get closer to that number because right now I know I'm holding water weight I have a lot of fat currently that's you know built up over the past two months and I feel it like I know that it's not just water weight I know that it's not just toxins so this is definitely going to be harder than just you know cleansing my body because I did gain a lot of fat back I can definitely tell with my sports bras because they were loose before and now they are pretty tight and I'm pretty sure I went up an entire cup size okay so my plan for the next uh, nine weeks are to start by getting into a caloric deficit I'm going to be meal prepping I'm gonna be basically having a salad a day and then like chicken and broccoli or turkey and asparagus or salmon and a you know some veggie of some sort for two meals and then for breakfast I'll be having like egg whites a piece of toast and some avocado or oatmeal with protein powder I'll be having a post-workout shake and having um, healthy cleaner snacks because I'll be in school so it'll be pretty easy personally for me I do a lot better when I plan stuff out and when I don't go out as much with my friends which sucks but <sighs> It really does help me and my goals are so important to me I want to reach these goals and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna balance everything out um, I keep myself really busy during the week so basically my plan for the morning or for the entire day I'm gonna give you a run through either I have physical therapy or cardio in the mornings so we're gonna just pretend that one of those is you know put in there so I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning I either head to cardio or I shower uh, get ready for uh, physical therapy and then I do physical therapy come home grab my siblings take them to their school after I take them to their school I go to my school do my class rush out of my school go um pick up the kids that I nanny and then I take them back home till six at their house after that I have an hour if I want to go at seven or I just hit the gym right away get my workout out I usually do two hours but I might change that only because of the fact that this cut I want to give it my all but I also don't want to you know lose my love for fitness and I want to stay motivated so if I'm gonna be hitting the gym all you really need is 45 minutes and so what I might do is I might do you know 30 of cardio and then an hour of lifting so it's a little bit less than two hours but we'll see because I'm gonna play around with that a little bit and that's gonna be how my day goes then I'm gonna go straight to bed I'm gonna have my post-workout shake and then go to bed so all my food will be planned and prepped 
and that will be Monday through Friday. And then Saturday, my goal is to have that as my fun day. I'm going to eat clean and I'm going to hit the gym, but then the rest of the day is going to be free for whatever I want to personally do. And that might not even be hanging out with people that I, you know, want to hang out with. It might be, you know, going and getting my nails done by myself or just little things, things that will make me happy. Sundays. So Sundays I'm going to take as my, you know, mind reset day. This is my meal prep day, my yoga day, my let's get stuff done and prepare for the weekday because I have a really busy week so I do have to prep and get everything ready. So that's actually today and I'm going to be starting, I think I'm going to film on Saturdays so if you guys want videos put video requests down below. I do have some food videos that I will be working on really soon. I'm just trying to come up with you know foods that I want to include in it because I want to give you guys things that I personally actually like and are pretty easy so I'm going to start writing down my workouts so I go in there with a person Purpose and I get it done. I'll be sticking to my macros and I'm going to start with decently high macros. I don't want to mess my metabolism up and I want to make this a, it's a lifestyle. Like I'm not going to do this as a diet. So yeah, that's basically my goal is to like start with my macros at I think 1600 calories and then I'm going to work my way all the way down to 1400 and see what, you know, happens. If I'm not losing weight the way that I want to within the first like three weeks, I'm going to give it three weeks more, more or less. I'm going to just see how I'm feeling and if I need to up them or drop them, then um, I'm just going to see how much weight I lose and stuff and also how my body changes because I that's a much bigger thing for me rather than like what the scale says. I want to see progress in my body because that is like something that I actually care about. I don't really care about the number. I care about my inches that I'm going to be losing and stuff. So that's my plan. And I'm probably going to do cardio three times, four times, five times a week. Definitely more than two times. And if you guys have any recommendations for how many times I should do cardio to have decent fat loss, then I'd love to hear it. Like I love getting information and knowledge from you guys. So that's kind of my plan if you guys are curious. The other thing is I'm not going to be eating past 7 p.m any night. Unless it's a post-workout shake, that's the only thing that I'm going to let myself have after 7 p.m. because I go to bed around 9 to 10, like around that area, and I do not want to, like I don't want to be eating right before bed. I feel like that really helped me. The late night snacks are where I end up screwing my macros up, so what I'm going to do is just completely work on not eating past seven like that's it's not that hard I just have to work on my self-control the other thing is getting enough sleep I'm gonna also be changing up my playlists just because I do need different music because music is something that pushes me during my workouts so basically my plan is to hit it pretty hard I'm gonna stay motivated I'm gonna keep going and I'm using this video to remind me of what my goals are my goals are to be a positive influence for the younger generation or people that are my age, people that are older than me, I do not want to be a hypocrite. I never want to be the person that you look at and you think, wow, she's really unhealthy as she shoves like a cheeseburger in her mouth and doesn't work out ever. Like, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to tell you guys to do something and then be doing that. The next one is the Europa Expo that's in Phoenix on October 15th through 16th because I'm going to be, you know, dropping quite a bit of money to get VIP tickets to both the NPC and the IFBB shows that are going to be here because I want to see what my goals are. Like this is my long-term goal is to be in competitions and be able to train people and you know, this is like a long-term goal. So I want to see what I'm working towards. I want to be able to see it and like have it in front of me and be able to watch these people who are already doing it and I feel like that's gonna motivate me so I want to look good and feel good about myself when I am watching this so then I'm already on track the next thing is when I feel good I look good if I feel good about myself then I don't care what anyone else thinks I if I see sweets then my first thing is to just eat them I want to work on my self-control with that and that's something that I think is really important for anyone. If you are wanting to have self-control and you want to do these things, then use those goals to motivate you to do it. Don't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And that's something that I've been doing just because my birthday, it was really hard to not cheat. Do it because you love it. Do it because you, you have a reason. Those are my goals. That's my schedule. All of these things are things that I want for myself. So really quickly, I'm going to touch on my mental block that I just went through. I went through this mental block just now. Like, I'm getting over it. Just because of my injury, it made it a lot harder for me to hit arms. And arms is my upper body workouts are honestly my favorite. I don't really like legs, but I've learned to like doing legs a lot more just because of the fact that, you know, when you have an injury on your shoulder, you really can't do chest, back, or anything besides little lightweight bicep, tricep. So my workouts weren't as intense 
intense and they still can't be as intense as they were in the beginning but I'm gonna be working my way up to it again that was like a really big mental block for me just because I was getting really frustrated and I would just literally want look in the mirror at myself because I had gained the weight normally it would motivate me to like keep going because it just does but this had just frustrated me because I know what I'm capable of I know what I, what I can do and I'm not hitting my fullest potential right now which is why tomorrow morning when I wake up I'm going to hit my fullest potential I'm gonna wake up go to physical therapy um I'm gonna eat I'm gonna feel great I'm gonna do great I'm gonna do amazing things then I'm gonna go through my school day I'm gonna do all my work I'm gonna go tutor and then I'm gonna kill it in the gym I'm thinking I'm gonna hit legs tomorrow just because I did hit arms yesterday and I'm gonna do some cardio that is that that's kind of my entire video this was my update video I love you guys to the moon and back. This is kind of my goals. These are my plans. If you guys have similar ones or if you guys want to just update each other on my on our journeys, then please do because I love hearing what you guys accomplish. I love being able to share on my Instagram account. If you guys haven't followed it already, please do. I want you guys to know that you are able to do anything you set your mind to. Do it because you want it. Don't do it because someone tells you to do it. Do it because you fully want to do it. So if you don't, if your heart's not in it, don't don't put yourself with those goals. Create goals that you actually want to achieve because the moment that it's something that you are motivated to do, you're going to crush it. So if you're looking at your goals right now and you're like, oh, I haven't hit them and I've had them for like a year now, it's because you're not putting your heart into it. It's because you don't actually want it. It might take hard work, but if you truly want it, you will do it. And that's what I have to tell myself. I have to say, Sydney, why did you basically go backwards the past two months? It's because I didn't have goals that I had set for myself that I 100% wanted. I kept telling myself, you're gonna do a cut, you're gonna do a cut. Timing, my injury and all my birthday and stuff, and the vacations, like yes, that was kind of like poorly chosen to try to do a cut. But the thing is, I got stronger. I should have just done a bulk because that's basically what I did. But I should have hit a bulk really, really hard and really just tried it, you know? But I didn't because I w I'm still in the learning process. This is the beginning of my journey for me, my figure competing, because I'm about to, I'm gonna get my body ready. I'm going to take the next two years, maybe longer. I'm just gonna see what I'm capable of, you know, doing body-wise. However long it takes, I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna, you know, push myself to the fullest that I can. And I'm gonna be happy. And the one thing that I'm very proud of myself for the past two months is, Number one, my body positivity. Not once did I look at myself in the mirror and say, you're a fat cow. Because guess what? I've worked hard for the body that I have. I may not like the weight that I gained, but I definitely don't hate my body. I love the life I live. I know that I'm working hard and I can do anything I set my mind to. So when I look in the mirror, I may say, wow, you can improve yourself. But I never once say that I'm a fat cow. And I had to change my mindset. I'm going to be doing a how I got on the road to being happy type video really soon. If you guys have any video requests, please put them down below. I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video.